This week's Torah portion is a double portion of Nitzavim Vayelech. And that leads me to the following question, because presumably the connection between the two, which revolve largely around tshuva, doing tshuva, returning to our source, returning to God, understanding what it means to be subscribed to what the Torah proposes and to the formula for success within Jewish logic and understanding. That's a lot or a big cupful of information. But that's really what the parshiot revolve around. But if we look at the titles of the parsha or the parshiot, nitzavim literally means to stand. Atem nitzavim hayom kuchem defnei Hashem elokechem. All of you stand in front of the presence of God. Vayelech, on the other hand, means literally to walk. To walk means that you are nomadic, that you are sporadic, that you are moving. And so in actuality, even though we call the two parshiot nitzavim vayelech, in actuality, they are contrasting terms. On the one hand, the person is standing still, and on the other hand, vayelech, they are moving, walking forward. What is the connection between the two? So I saw a fascinating insight by the Orachayim HaKadosh, and he explains that even though Nitzavim at first glance might mean and means standing, there is another perush, another understanding of the word Nitzavim, and that is, or he takes it from Rut, Megillat Rut, it says, Nitzav al HaKotsrim, Nitzav Ala kotsrim, nitzavim. Nitzav means was appointed as an appointee to oversee, as an overseer of those who were threshing the wheat from the threshing floor, from the fields. And so nitzav means to be appointed. Now we can understand a greater insight because the truth is, we all know that Judaism is a not a spectator sport, it's an active sport. Only someone who is involved, immersed, who is concerned, interested, encouraged, only that person can truly appreciate the wonders, the glorious of what the Torah and what Judaism has to offer. Nitzavim means to be appointed. When a person feels that they are appointed over something, when they feel that they have a purpose, that they have a reason, that they have a rhyme as to what they're doing in this world, what they can contribute, what they can offer, then they, in turn, it follows that they can vayelech, they can walk. Someone who is purposeless, someone who feels useless, does not feel that they can move forward. They don't feel that they can walk. But someone who is nitzavim, someone who is nitzav, who is appointed and understands that I have what to contribute, that I am appointed for something, that I have reason in this world, and that I have something to offer society, and I'm here in this world and I was created in this world for a reason. Rav Nachman Mabreslav used to say, the day in which you are born is the day in which God realized that the world cannot survive without you. Alavai, every person should subscribe to that belief and understand and embrace it. Because when a person understands that I was born for a reason, that I am here to contribute, they can vayelech. They can surge forward. They can move forward. And they can certainly make their mark in the society and in the parameters, in the spheres in which they contact. Sometimes there are people who struggle, have obstructions, challenges. Someone, every person, every normal person wants to feel that they can vayelech, that they are appointed and as such can contribute. But many people who suffer from mental health or from various challenges and obstructions, it's harder for them to know what is my purpose? What can I contribute? It's important for us to give them appointed issues, to appoint them to do something, even if it might seem to us to be superficial. To them, that appointment will allow them to vayelech, will encourage them to continue to walk, as is the case with all of us. We now approach Rosh Hashanah. We appoint, we appoint God as our king, our dominion over everything in this world. But God, in turn, appoints us and says to each and every one of us that each one of us have an appointment. Have an appointment with him, but have an appointment with mankind with which to contribute. And when we figure out that appointment, which is our retrospect and our introspect that we have at this time of year, we will be capable of vayelech, moving forward, regardless of all the mistakes and sins, transgressions that we might have done in the past. We are now moving forward vayelech because of the new appointment that we have given to ourselves. This is the Jewish way, it is the Torah way, and it is the Gila way. Shabbat Shalom.